Hi there guys, uh, my name is Ralph with 4K Equipment and today I have a Faro Focus Scanner Kit Overview for you. Uh, we've got everything here that comes in the kit. We have the tripod for the scanner itself. We've got a 360 degree camera that speeds up the actual photos that the scanner takes. And then we have the tablet or the iPad that's also included. It has Faro's stream software on it. And then this is the Faro Focus Premium, which has a distance of about 200 meters and an accuracy of two millimeters at about 10 meters or around an eighth for about 30 feet, somewhere around there. Um, so I'll go ahead and open this up. Uh, in here, we just have the scanner itself and then the battery and then how you charge it. Um, so here is the scanner. I'm gonna go ahead and set this here. Make sure I get it in the middle. And then this is just the cover, comes off. And then we have the battery itself. Um, the battery just slides right in. We have a charger with an external dock if you wanna charge the battery externally, or you can actually plug it all in and then just plug it directly into the scanner. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up and then uh, I'll be back with you here shortly. Alrighty, now I have everything set up over here. I've got the Ferrofocus scanner on its tripod. I have the pano camera attached to it and then I have it all turned on. And then I'm also holding the tablet with the software on here. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just shoot this room. I'm gonna take uh, two different scans. Um, we do need to do a calibration scan since we do have a pano camera on there, but just to give you a quick walkthrough of what it would look like actually scanning with it. Um, I'm gonna share this screen that I'm looking at so you can get a better view of what I'm looking at. So uh, just to start off real quick, uh, the first thing that we need to do is connect to the scanner. Uh, this guy should already be connected to the scanner. Um, we're gonna do that with Wi-Fi. So the name of the scanner is actually gonna be the serial number of the scanner. Uh, it looks like we're already connected. So if I just go back, then I go into Faro Stream. Here's the base of the software right there in the top right, that circle with the dot in the middle. That's gonna be where our devices are. And you can see we are connected to our Focus Premium there. On the bottom left, you can see that check mark. That means we are connected. So now if we hit the back button, uh, back on our main screen here, we're gonna add a new project. So up here, I'm actually gonna delete this and just name it test right here, and then hit create on the right. Now here is just a generic project. Uh, it doesn't look like we have anything yet. So down at the bottom right, uh, right next to the play button, we're gonna hit that profiles button. Over here, this is actually how to pick different densities of points, taking different amounts of time for however much uh, detail that you actually want in your scans. Um, just for this, we're gonna do flash scans. Um, so I'm gonna click flash and then I'm gonna hit the over arrow because we need to do a calibration before we actually do the scan. So we're gonna hit down on the panorama cal camera calibration and then we're gonna hit calibrate. And then this is actually gonna take about three minutes and 45 seconds and you can hear it start to spin up. Um, I'm gonna actually cut this out and then uh, I'll be right back after this uh, calibration scan is done. Alrighty, now that that uh, panorama camera calibration has finished, uh, it's gonna leave us on the screen here. So we're gonna hit back, and we're gonna hit back. And here is what that calibration scan looks like. Um, what we can do here is line this up with the grid that it's actually on. And this is just personal preference, it's not even necessary. Um, but all the other scans will reference um, the other scans and line themselves up accordingly. Um, the minimum amount you need is 30% between two different scans. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is put this scanner in the middle of the room, offset to one side, hit scan, and then move it over and then offset to the other. And I'll go ahead and speed this up here for you. Alrighty, I have it off to one side of the room and then all I'm gonna do is hit the play button on the bottom right. Um, that is how you actually do scans. Um, so while that's over there running, uh, just a few quick things to note. Um, the calibration scan itself, um, it's actually recommended that you put it in a closet. Um, it doesn't need to be within view of anything else that you're scanning. It's just to calibrate that camera on top. And then, like I said previously, if you're doing multiple scans, like of a building or anything like that, all you need is a minimum of 30% between two different scans, and it should come in here as a point cloud. So on the actual software itself, 
you can see exactly where I put the uh, scanner at. So I'll go ahead and move it to a different part of the room and then hit play. Alrighty, I went ahead and hit play. And so now let's let it finish the scan. And then as it's scanning, more and more points are coming in and we're getting more and more detail out of this scan. Um, this is essentially how to use the scanner. This is an overview of the scanner itself, everything included. And yeah, feel free to ask any questions in the comments if you have any, or yeah, let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.